Good morning everyone. I am Ms. Jyotsna, an assistant professor of AIE and today I will be discussing with technological use and integration in education in the perspective of NEP 2020. Okay, so let's start with the background. India is a diverse country in which two-thirds population is youth. Education is considered as national investment for creation of a human capital society. If we talk about the intensive education, we have 1.5 million school, over 900 higher education institute as well. And this education system employ 8.5 million teachers and serve around 330 million students as well. This focus this focus of this education system is providing equitable quality, lifelong learning and holistic education. And the goal of education in India also include developing 21st century skills with sustainable development goals. India is also working to become a Bush Vishu Guru by strengthening its planning and impl implementing of education, particularly by integrating technology. The integration of ICT in education is considered as a crucial in the current era. It has become a tool to overcome barrier and limitation in reaching all over India and help to bridge the digital divide. Education technology and ICT also provide the opportunity for teaching, learning, assessment and CPD which is continuous professional development can be assessed anytime and anywhere. The NEP 2020 recognizes the potentiality of education technology in expanding access in educational opportunity. That is why the NEP 2020 flavoring technology and the aim of this is to improve the quality education addressing issues of inclusion and enhancing overall accessibility, quality, equity, affordability and accountability in the educational system. Educational Technology has enabled us to remote learning online course and virtual classroom by which education has become accessible for all. Now the recommendation of NEP 2020. NEP 2020 has recognized the need to address and broaden consequences of disruption technology in education. Rapid and disruptive change growth by the technology can put disadvantage on individual or any nature in the competitive world. NEP also emphasizes on importance of research and skill development and raising awareness to enable the education system to cope up with these changes. It is also emphasizing technology in developing an evaluation process of teaching and learning. Technology has benefited and supported in teaching preparation and professional development courses as well. NEP 2020 also emphasizing on enhancing education assessed by technological intervention and technology can streamline educational planning, management and administration, including the process like admission, attendance and assessment. NETF One of the most important component of NEP 2020 recommendation is to establish National Educational Technological Forum. Its envision as an autonomous body that will play a role in integrating technology into various aspects of school education and higher education. Now let's discuss about the objective and some important points regarding creation of an ETF. First is autonomous body. An ETF will be an independent and autonomous body responsible for driving the integration of education technology in the education system of India and it will also have the authority to make decision and implement initiatives related to education and technology. The second one is integration of technology. The primary objective of an ETF is to integrate technological effectively into different level of education sector. It will work toward identifying and implementing innovative education technology and tools that can enhance teaching, learning and assessment practice. The second one is school education and higher education. The NETF will focus on both school education and higher education. It will be addressing the need of student, teacher and institution across the level. 
The next one is collaboration and coordination. An ETF will foster collaboration and coordination among various stakeholders involved in educational technology. It will work closely with government bodies, educational institutions, technological developer and other relevant organizations to promote the effective use of technology in education. The next one is researcher, research and development. The NETF will support initiatives aimed at developing new technology, methodology, pedagogical approach and that can improve learning outcome of educational practice. The next one is policy formulation. The NETF will focus on building the capacity of teachers, educators, an administrator to effectively use education technology. It will facilitate training, programs, workshop, and professional development opportunity to enhance digital literacy and pedagogical skills. The next one is monitoring and evaluation. An ETF will also play role in monitoring and evaluating the impact of technological integration in education. It will assess the effectiveness of varying initiatives and providing feedback for continuous improvement. So overall, the establishment of an ETF forum is a significant step towards harnessing the potential of technology in education sector of India. It aims to create collaborative and forward-looking environment that can leverage technology to improve teaching and learning practice across all the level of education. The NEP 2020 recommended on some initiatives which aim to promote and expand the use of educational technology in educational system of India, which we will be discussing. The first one is strengthening CIAT. CIT stands for Central Institute of Education and Technology. The NEP 2020 emphasizes the need to strengthen CIT to support and expand the uses of Diksha, a digital platform for teachers as well as other education technological initiatives. The next one is pilot studies for online education. The NEP 2020 recommended conduct conducting a series of pilot studies to explore and evaluate online education methods and their effectiveness. The next one is creating digital infrastructure. There is a focus on investing in the development of digital infrastructure to facilitate online learning and ensure its accessibility. And the next one is the promoting online teaching learning platform. The policy advocate for the promotion of suitable online platform that facilitate effective teaching and learning experience. The next one is creating e-content and digital repository. The NEP encouraged the creation of digital learning methods like e-content and reliable repository to store and disseminate educational resources digitally. Addressing the digital divide. Efforts are directed toward reducing the digital divide in the country, ensuring equitable access to technology and online learning resources for all students. The next one is virtual lab. The policy recommends leveraging technology to create virtual labs providing students with equal and easy access to practical learning experience. The next one is teacher training and the digital literacy. Training program for teachers and initiative to enhance their digital literacy are emphasized to equip them with the necessary skill and effective use of educational technology as well as online exams assessment. assessment. NEP also emphasizing the online exam and assessment, the NEP advocating for the extensive use of online exam and assessment include those, those focused 24th century skills. Blended learning. The policy emphasizes the importance of blended learning which combine online and offline instruction approach to enhance learning outcome. The second last one is standard for technological integration. As technological technology become integrated into education, the NEP 2020 highlight the need to establish standards to ensure the effectiveness of its implementation. The last one is educational software in Indian language. The NEP give importance to Indian language and art and culture. In this, the policy aim to develop a wide range of, of educational software in major Indian language to cater the linguistic diversity and promote inclusive learning. Thank you. I hope this OER is helpful for you.